As a kid, I was taught uh, hate and misinformation about the Jewish people and about Israel. I was fed incitement and lies 24-7 from my community, from my school, from the people around me. Every time I turned on the television, everywhere I looked, I would hear something bad about Israel or about the Jewish people. My journey to Zionism started with a very simple thing, which was kindness, because it really helped me to break the lie that I had about the Jewish people, because I was told that Jews would hate me. And all of a sudden, when I met the, those Jews that I was hearing about, they did not act as expected, as, I, as like I was told that they're gonna act. So that really surprised me. And kindness is really the reason of why I am here today. Simple act of kindness really does work. Uh, one day, I realized that I had to speak up. It was when, uh, in June 2014, when Iyal Gilad and Niftali were kidnapped by Hamas. And I said to myself, like, uh, today it's those three guys, tomorrow it's probably my Jewish friends, or it's gonna be me one day, because we're all Israelis in their eyes after all. And I told myself, this is it, I gotta speak now or never. And I did. I posted a picture of myself with an Israeli flag and a piece of paper that said, bring back our boys. And I got a very hard backlash from that. And it was all worth it. It was all worth it standing up for my country and standing up for what's right. Whenever that picture got posted of me online with an Israeli flag, um, my family was divided. Uh, my grandmother comes from a Palestinian refugee camp and I have family in the West Bank. So you can imagine what kind of division just happened in the family. I lost uh, many, many friends and I lost some family members that they stopped talking to me. And unfortunately, this is the price that every Arab has to pay for standing with Israel. But when I realized what SGP and BDS are doing, they're speaking in my name to bash my country, to bash Israel. And they're telling lies about the way I'm living here in Israel. So I, I told myself, it's, it's now or never. I gotta speak up. I gotta, I gotta stop this. So what really motivates me is the, the amount of how much I believe in my work and how much I, I, have, I am passionate about it. Now, thanks to the Stand With Us platform, I am able to reach more people. I am able to tell the truth about my country. I am able to stand and say, my name is Yahya Mahamid and this is, what, this is what's really going on with me, with other Arabs and with, within Israel itself. Uh, and my goal is, really, my goal is to not to make every Arab think like me, but just to make them stop for a moment and ask themselves, maybe we should consider rethinking what we, what, what we know about Israel. And that is my goal. Hi everyone, I'm really looking forward to seeing you at the event and to share with you my journey to Zionism and my love for my country, Israel.